Yeah, we're done down here, but we're okay. heading to Waysburg and Dayton. Hi. You guys are okay. really brown. <laughs> yeah, I didn't Good get... Blown. Jamie coming in hot. <laughs> there goes Jamie and Stacia and Harley with Jamie's header. They're headed to Wadesburg to go cut 60 acres before they catch up with us. And then me and the other flashing combine are going to Dayton. All right, we're bouncing down the highway, about 15 miles an hour, 16 miles an hour, headed towards Dayton. We are done in Prescott and we are headed out, off to the next farm. We're pulling straight into the skyrockets here, but we're bypassing them. We don't farm this side of the skyrockets. This side's reserved for the Irwins. Macaws and some other farmers. Macaws are who I farmed with last year. Everybody's been asking me, where'd the John Deere's go? Where'd the John Deere's go? Well, they're up here. They're cutting. They're not anywhere different. I'm somewhere different. I'm in a bouncy red combine. Back to my own home ground here. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I grew up driving green combines when I was like eight or nine. Once I turned like 11 though, uh, when I started driving combine full time, they turned into red combines. This is a runway right here. It goes along those trees all the way to uh, the next road, which is this Skyrocket Road. This is Smith Springs Road here for all you guys following along on a map. So we're going north of Smith Springs. We just left Highway 124 right back there. Deep stuff up in there I'll tell you what and the wall is back in there if you ever look at the Facebook page the wall or whatever or Facebook page something about the wall I forget maybe it's on Wheat Country 2.0 <laughs> looks like we missed a combine train by about two minutes <laughs> I can see that Looking this way, they're just pulling out anyway towards us, like la 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 la. Stone, Prescott to Waitsburg, Washington, or Prescott to Dayton, Walla Walla to Columbia County. This is now Columbia County, so technically I think we might be in Starbuck or Dayton. We're not in Prescott anymore. Look at 
this fancy road here. It's like brand new lines, tiny road, giant machine, off the road on that side, almost off the road on that side, bridge, too small. It's actually not that bad, this bridge is bad, because I hit something. Tractor, sprayer. We're doing it. We're roading. You can almost see that old cat over there. Old Challenger. This is the most interesting part of this road because it's not very wide. Uh, if we run into another combine train, we might have issues. We are going 19 miles an hour. <laughs> Almost. Hey, there's a sprayer over there. A pull behind sprayer. Oh, now you can see that challenger over here. It's just so unbelievably bouncy. There's some combines right there. They're not cutting, they got headers on. They're ready to cut. Here comes a truck down the road by them. Looks like a 2388, and I'm not sure what that is on the right. Is that a, it is a case. It's got a black stripe on it though. Kind of a weird looking case. Truck's going over there to him. Coming up the road. This part of the road is big enough just for our combines, basically. We'll go slow, don't worry. This guy's coming along with his boat and his truck. He's gonna pull over and let us go by. Shocking, but the right thing. Yay, this is why we come the back road, because these people know what's up. And that guy back there with the boat, he had a, uh, He had a kid with him, teaching the kid the right way to do a thing also. That way to do a thing is to pull over and let us go. Come on, machine. Doesn't really like fourth gear pulls. There's our fire machine right there. Or our firefighting machine. Thank you, sir. You're a good man. Here comes our header. Might be my header. It's a great sound. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna shut that off. This guy's got some really cool trucks right here. Yeah. He's a collector. We're going this way still. Now there's a really old combine sitting right there next to that red thing in the very center of my screen your screen it's a cab free I don't know what John Deere there's no cab on that thing and those other tractors right here these cats those steel track cats those never came with cabs those are aftermarket cabs that these farmers put on it's an machine and there's this guy he's got an 0-2 or a 22 over there. Probably an O2. That's what I learned to drive combine on. A green green combine with the yellow roof. Right there in the center of your screen. That. I learned to drive not on that one, but on one just like it. Here's another one of your botanical paradises, honey. And the radio's been making this noise. I think it's the uh I think it's these power lines. I'm not sure. I don't know, I hate it. What is that? Small bridge. That elevator's open for business. There's a guy who's standing at it. And a whole lot of action there today, it looks like. We won't be hauling there. We're hauling Lions Ferry. Yeah, this area is famous for these buildings here. We like to call them roofs. It's not a wall, I don't think. It's just a roof. 
Can't burn that down. Uh, at a certain point, it's really hard to tell apart. So we think it's canola. I think it's mustard. They're probably the same family. I think they are. I mean, really. Oh, barn. Coming through. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Look out. Tree. Bleep, bleep. Got it with the antenna. That was a tight one. Wow. One of my subscribers said they hate to see all these abandoned buildings out here. It just looks bad. These some steel buildings. I think that's just a remnant of a dying time. There's bees outside, bee boxes, and that bando right there. It's straight up held up by pipes. <laughs> Those first PVC pipes holding the roof up. Yeah. Nice. It's more of that canola or mustard or whatever. And some wheat. They're back there. Still coming. We farmed that up there. That hillside's ours. That's kind of steep. It's not bad. None of this Dayton land's that bad. We're not farming there yet, though. We're, we're going, uh, there's a small bridge. Holy cow. <laughs> So that's our field up there. Like I said, it's not that steep. But we're going up farther east. Wagons east. Combines east. This guy's serious. He is reversing. He saw us coming. He says, a scourge. Backed up. I'm gonna pull in that driveway. That's nice. I do believe this field on the left is ours. We have this to cut. That's wheat, winter wheat. And then up here, we got this to cut. That's wheat. Oh, it might be spring wheat. I'm just trying to get out of the way. We gotta have room for everything to pull in here. I don't think there's room for everything. So Drew's gonna pull up to his header and get connected. We made it. We're up in Dayton. This is about as steep as it is in Dayton. There's more than steep, but it's just, this is the hillside. You see, see the difference? I don't know if it's picking up on it. It looks flat, right? There. I guess my boss has got it talking to because they had flags on their uh, combines the other year. So I didn't hear that yet, but I got flags. Evidently they were political flags. I don't know if flying the state flag and the country's flag is hate speech, but here we are. Broken down. America. Yeah. Come something. Mechanic is here. Okay, now he's here. This is leaking. We're not gonna get a video of it. You can see the drip coming out of it. It's leaking out this seam right here. All right, John's up there. He's gonna turn on the rotor and then turn on the uh, separator. So you can see the oil that comes out of this. we lost 
about seven gallons in 20 minutes. Cheap. <laughs> yeah. Well, hydraulic oil is like $30 a gallon. Was that spin when you did that? Well, I didn't have a wrench. Oh, I remember. I'm over here working too, not just him. I'm also working. So. These gloves are catching the oil. I love gloves. Yeah, no, uh, your your whirly gigs are the... Uh, uh, all right. Uh, the Jake brake on the sleeper truck. I just revved it down uh check out this this is a huge rye plant right here okay i'll be damned if that's not rye that is freak wheat this is wheat holy cow or is it rye i've never i've never seen wheat looking like that in the middle of a field like look at this like that is like some um I think it's wheat. So that's not rye. That's freak wheat. That's crazy. There's one more over here that's a little tall. A couple of them. I mean, if you look out, I mean, there's some tall ones, but not really. I mean, this one's kind of tall right here, but and let's compare. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Bam. Oh yeah, I got some flags, you guys. But look at this it's that massive rye wheat i don't trust it so that wheat is coming in the bag still I'm so i brought that godzilla wheat with me look how big it is that's crazy like this wheat is legit like four and a half feet tall in a field of wheat that's like two feet tall it's got gigantism so it's my new wheat plant yep here you can see my perfectly straight vector tracks and you can even see them in the stubble. And we're cutting this almost to the ground, like if not to the ground. Like this is thicker stubble than we were cutting, probably double the yield that we were cutting two days ago. But the thing is, we don't want to have to burn this. This is all no-till, or this is all conventional. This is done conventional, so we don't want to mess with erosion. Uh, we're hoping to do this no-till next year. We've got two no-till drills, so we'll be able to do everything no-till. All 10,000 acres. Looking extra beautiful out here right now. I think this is how I'm going to wrap up the video. I almost said crap up the video, but this is how I'm going to wrap up the video, guys. And I love all the love, all the comments, all the everything. Having fun this harvest, and uh, I'm glad you guys could join me in it.